we can see a police car here in front of the police station. This is a, a Nissan Skyline R30. Looks a bit odd for a Nissan Skyline to be a police car, but you know. Welcome to another Bump by Video, and my name is Art, and thank you for joining me today with manga reading. And manga reading is basically me flipping through these pages, trying to read manga and identify cars, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, this video is a bit overdue. I decided to uh, post the first uh, part of the You're Under Arrest series about a year ago, then I recorded the second part, and the second part never actually made it to the quality standards that I thought it required. So I re-recorded it twice after and those episodes also didn't make it to post-production because I had other priorities. And now we're ahead one year and I decided, well, let's just re-record it again. That also means that it's going to be a little bit different uh, in format. You've already seen that I've converted my basement to, well, if you call this a recording studio, it's a recording studio. Um, and also I'm going to only cover one manga today and I'm not going to cover four at the same time. And why? Well, simply because the previous video took like 20 minutes in total and you know, 20 minutes is a long video and I thought I couldn't get that much in depth about each of the cards featuring in the manga. So we're going to cover one manga today, that's this one part five. Uh, it's containing six cars and after that I'll do a mystery car guessing game of two cars from the next manga and then you can guess which cars those are and I'll cover those in the next episode. So let's get started with manga reading. All right let's get started with reading the manga. So the manga today is part five out of eight of the You're Under Arrest uh, comics by Dark Horse Manga, published by Dark Horse Manga. Uh, it is created and uh, drawn by Kosuke Fujishima. He created way more episodes than uh, the ones published by Dark Horse. This was kind of a, you know, it, it was kind of a failure within the US. It didn't catch on that many readers. So it stopped after the first series. Um, we have um, the story revolving around a lot of things like paintball and golf today and basically someone is asking the girls from the police station uh, for help and they're going to help her because well her brother is in some sort of gangster issue and that's why they're also going to the golf course um, yeah basically they come to her rescue and uh, end up at the country club golf course. Uh, first cars that we can identify here is of course the police car driven by Natsuki and Miyuki and they drive a Honda Today and the Honda Today, uh, well th this car in particular the first generation Honda Today, uh, it, it mimics a bit of the, uh, the styling of the Honda City and also um, this particular model which is the early version the Zenke version is the one that's most sought after by fans of this manga series there's also one uh, that was for sale or for auction some time ago which is kind of a perfect replica of this car so that's quite amazing in the background we have another car that we can identify that's a toyota high ace a second generation toyota high ace and uh, it's, it's unclear whether this is like a short, um, a short version of the Toyota High Ace or a long version and th those differ in model codes. Um, we, can, we cannot say much about what exact spec the model is because it's, well, it's right behind or it's parked behind the big sign. Uh, that's obviously the interior of the police car of, or the Honda today. Um, they fire up a lot of paintball bullets to the gangsters, even though the gangsters are armed with real guns, and they whack the gangsters with a golf ball, and that's basically the end of the episode. So next episode we have um, more paint guns or paintball guns uh, involved. 
and there's these kids, they're shooting everyone with paintballs and they're harassing people, so they want to uh, stop them. So you can see that she's all under blood and they think she's really, uh, she's actually dead, but you know, it's all paintball, red paint. Uh, we can see a police car here in front of the police station. This is a, a Nissan Skyline R30. Um, looks a bit odd uh, for a Nissan Skyline to be a police car, but you know, many of these highway chasing police cars have been converted or converted have been uh, trickled down to smaller police stations within the city. So th it's quite normal that that happens and even though this is maybe like a 11, 12 year old car by then. So it's, uh, it's definitely a Skyline R30. Um, continuing further inside the manga there's a lot of stuff going on about catching the guys. Here we have the Honda today again, a second time. Um, maybe, maybe nice if you can guess what uh, wheels they're actually having on their Honda today. And it's going to be answered in the next episode because it's uh, also a feature in there. Uh, they find the guys inside this uh, convenience store. Uh, the store owner is protecting them. And this is also where we can spot uh, the other car. So we have the Honda today over here. We have uh, in front of it either a Nissan Caravan or an Irvan. It's not clear which one it is. The Caravan is the uh, basically the bus version. So it contains a lot of seats, like four rows, three or four rows of seats. Um, but it has an odd window here, which might indicate that this is actually a camper. So that could be also a Caravan camper. Um, it could also be an Irvan that has been converted and an Irvan is basically the utilitarian version of uh, the Nissan Caravan. Over here we have probably a Nissan Stanza, a Nissan um, Violet could also be, or Oster. Uh, basically all three cars were split up uh, at a certain moment in time and they all look quite similar to each other. They're basically early 80s. Uh, I think the model code is T11 for this generation. So then we continue um, with the shooting over here and there's a lot of gore involved and of course in Japan guns are not allowed so uh, a lot of kids uh, enjoy actually playing with these paintball guns instead. Uh, and that's about it, that's, uh, that's the end of this episode. Uh, it's a bit shorter than normal, um, we're also going to include the uh, mystery cars over here, so this is mystery car number one, I'll edit that right in here. Uh, as you can see, the mystery car uh, looks a bit odd. Uh, so what is it? What kind of car is it? And then here we have mystery car number two. So which mystery car is this? Okay, so that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, the under arrest number five. And, um, of course, next time I'll reveal the two mystery cars, which ones there actually are in reality. That's it. Thank you for joining me and hope to see you next time.